on the ABC After School special. Losing her mother meant dividing her father's. I want to go home. This is your home, and the sooner you realize that, the better off you're going to be. I wish you could be like it was. We were a family, Daddy, and you took me away from them. And I'm going to get back somehow. Torn Between Two Fathers, next. How's it coming? Okay. I keep slowing down in the middle and missing those two C-sharps. You'll get it. I wish you weren't next to last. I'd rather just be first and get it over with. One more chance to invite me to go to Mexico with you and Mom. I thought yesterday was our last chance. I'm giving you one more. That's the kind of person I am. What about your father? I can visit him when I get back. Sorry. Your father has did. I can tell him that I have to go with you because you can't hear in a foreign language. I don't think your father's gonna go for that. Good morning. Good morning, you two. This is Grandma's. I thought you might want to wear it this afternoon. Thanks. Mm, you're growing up so fast. Bacon's ready. Where's Sam? Sam! Gee, thanks. I could have done that. <laughs> I heard you practicing. Sounds good. Maybe just a tiny bit fast in the middle. I know. Yeah. And shouldn't those C naturals be, um... Be sharp. <laughs> oh, I gotta go. Okay, I'll see you guys at the recital at four. Mm. Three. Three. Did you change it? Mom, I told you a hundred times. Three. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I wrote down four. Why would I write four? Because you're probably so used to being late, you write late. I see you dressed for breakfast, Sam. It's Saturday. I'm on vacation. You know, I did write three. I guess I thought if I wrote three, I'd be there by four. That's not funny, Mom. Do I have to go? Yeah. And you have to wear clothes. Good morning. Debbie's place. Hello. Hi, Linda. Yeah, me too. I'll, I'll see you there, there at three. Good morning. Be wonderful. Later we'll go out. With... Oh, do you have Linda? Yeah. We'll go out and celebrate, eh? Oh, no, she's in the front row. Bobby Stevens is in the front row. My mom's late as usual. I wish my mom worked. She's always home. <laughs> Charms in the middle. Mom didn't make it, huh? Where's Katie, though? You were what? Yeah, I didn't see you. I was sitting in the back. Where's Jennifer? Probably stuck at the open house. I knew she wouldn't get here. I've missed you at the office. Did Tim tell you the new software was in? It's here. Huh? He didn't tell me. I thought you should practice instead of playing with the computer. We, we don't, don't play, play on the, the computer. computer. We, we work, work on it. <laughs> okay, gang. We have to clear out of here now. Bye, Debbie. Bye. How did you know I got the middle? I could feel it. Oh, so I looked at the teacher. <laughs> I'll see you at seven. Right. Okay. 
can. Mr. Jensen? Yeah? There's been an accident. What? I Did need to speak with my you. wife. Please, if you could step inside here, please. We, we need to talk. Please step into this room. Is she all right? Tell me. Is my wife all right? Please. Is she okay? Princess, I want to thank you for coming all this way. It really means a lot to us, all of us. Thank you. You're welcome. Speak more, Daddy. Oh. Sorry. I talked with her just a few days ago. To make you find the ranges with her. She, uh... She was real excited about your concert. Miss Idol. Yeah, she... What's the difference? I don't know. Not so big, I think. More casual. Uh, Donna got her piano tuned. I was real excited about going to Mexico. Yeah, to Yucatan. <laughs> you know, she always wanted to go to unusual places. When we were in college, she wanted to go to Tuscany. Everybody else said uh, Hawaii or Greece, but she said Tuscany for the color. I think I should stay here this summer. They might need me. Well, we don't have to talk about that now. He's pretty shook up. Uh, look, they're waiting. We'll, we'll talk about it later. Someplace we can talk? Sure. We can do Janet's office. Uh, do you mind? No? Fine. What's going on? We're just going to go and have a talk. About what? Uh, we'll just be a few minutes. letting this happen. Do you want to take your ski jacket? Sure. You're just going to let Peter take me away like this? There's nothing I can do. 
Now the house will never get finished. You and Mom should have thought about this. You should have tried to adopt me. Your mother and I talked about it many times. But you're not allowed to have two fathers, you know? Legally. Peter would have had to give you up and... Maybe he would have. Your mother and I decided we couldn't ask him to do that. Why couldn't we just try going to court? I mean, so what if Peter gets mad? You heard the lawyers. Going to court could be worse for us. They said the best thing for me to do was try to talk to Peter directly. I mean, just visits, don't you? Well, at the first step, yes. I mean... You've already given up. I mean, you think I should take my winter clothes. That's not what I mean. Why don't you just tell the truth? You don't even care. How do you think I felt when the lawyers told me that 11 years of being your father don't count for anything? That I don't have any more rights than the guy down the street that's for custody? Do you think I don't care? I just lost my wife. And now I'm losing my daughter. Peter wouldn't give up like this. He'd fight for me. I want you to know that I know you don't mean that. Redecorate it. You like it? Yeah. Great. Wait, wait. Here's the best thing. Look. Dad got it for you. Try it. I will. Later. Um, girls, I think that Debbie might be a little tired from her flight. She probably wants to be well. Come on. I'll come and get you for dinner. like a long time. I know. <laughs> Sam, I have to hang up now, okay? Sam, I have to go. Sam, I have to go and you should be in bed now, okay? I have to go, but I'll call you tomorrow, okay?
fine? He hasn't used it yet. You want me to show you how? I know how. Well, if you ever need any help with it or a ride someplace or... Thanks. Mom, make her stop bothering me. Just ask a question. Hush, girl. Morning. Hi. Listen, did you see the paper? What? It says that um, Lowell Stratton, vice president of the company, said, and I quote, we will not be intimidated by the union. Well, that's fair reporting. Where's the union side? Judy, how many times have I asked you not to read at the table? About 150. And why do I ask you? Because it's rude to read in front of people. Even if some people never talk at all. Book. How are negotiations coming, Daddy? Fine. Peter, talk to her. I am. Um, they're a struggle, but we keep trying. Why don't you just strike? I'm trying to avoid the damage the strike does. Both sides would just be reasonable. You can negotiate anything. What are you doing today? Nothing. What about Jen, uh, Kathy? I thought you liked her. Oh, boy. Boy, I'm running late. What you call Kathy? She went to Santa Fe with her father. Well, what about Angela? She's too weird. You used to have lots of other friends. They all have new groups now. We could have a party. I mean, I could call her. Please don't. May I please just be excused? What's the matter with her now? Had a little trouble adjusting. She just loves just her lost her money, you know. Eat your breakfast. Hi. I come in? Okay. Debbie, I know it's hard. You know, when my mother died a year ago, I thought it was the end of the world. I know nobody can take your mother's place. And believe me, I'm not trying to do that. I just thought at least we could be friends. I hate this room. We'll change it. We can go shopping. We can find something you like. I'm sorry I said that. Boys, huh? It's not the room. Oh, honey, just... I'm leaving. I don't think I'll be home for dinner. <laughs> Can't believe we bought you that computer and you haven't even touched it yet. I want to go to Los Angeles. She means a visit. I don't mean a visit. I want to go home. This is your home, and the sooner you realize that, the better off you're going to be. Peter. It's been a month. We've done everything we can to make her feel welcome here, and all she does is mope around. I don't have time for this right now. I didn't ask to live here. You're making me. You can't make me like it. All right. Don't. Peter. <laughs> 